All right, here we have my work area, my work desk, and uh, very messy, I realize, but uh, always something to do, and cleaning up isn't always a major priority. But uh, right there are two of my paintings from my grandfather, right there and there, very valuable to me. And a lot of other things in the office here, all my books and all my Bibles. And we had an accident this morning because this place is very old. Thankfully, we didn't burn the place down, but it went like that and uh, everything shut off. So, not good. This is the second time that this has happened at this place. The wiring here is terrible. Um, I don't know what it would cost to get the whole place rewired. I don't actually don't think it's be worth it because this place is old, but this is what we put up with. So I'm going to have to move the computer now. I don't even know if my computer is fried or not. Um, hopefully it didn't do any damage to my computer. The little lamp right there um, also went out. And a heater to my right, I won't show over there, but um, the heater went out as well. So hopefully my computer's okay. I guess I'll find out here in a few minutes. Well, here's the temporary setup on our kitchen table that was here at this office. And uh, it's working. My computer thankfully did not get completely destroyed um, by the weird burnout socket thing today. But um, just really not sure what to do at this point in time. Um, I really don't know. Uh, but if you could please pray about uh, this whole situation, that God would show us what to do on this. Um, yeah. Pretty bright out here right now. But uh, just to explain the whole situation again, because I've gotten attacked on this over the years, people say, well, Brian's always looking for another place, and he's always wanting another place, and, you know, how many places does he need? When you're debt-free, you have to build up to what you want. So I cannot buy the nicest places and whatever else. We paid $30,000 for this place, um, and we knew it had some wiring issues, but we've had different things, different problems with it over the years, and, uh, you know, this garage here behind me needs to be taken down. It's in really bad shape, uh, but... The whole problem right now, the sun is really bright out here, sorry for squinting, but uh, the whole problem right now is that uh, we would be able to afford a place if it hadn't been for the pandemic thing and the, the price of houses goes going absolutely insane. And that's the issue that we have right now that we're dealing with. And um, you know, the, I'll just to give you a, a for instance, there was a place in the area here south of us that uh, back in 2017, I think it was sold for about 170,000 or something, something like that. Maybe it was 200,000, I think. And uh, here about a year and a half ago, it sold for $520,000. Okay, and uh, they didn't do that much work to it. And uh, here, just recently it came up for sale again. Uh, the people that had it couldn't, they lasted about a year and a half and it's now $690,000. That's insanity. You know, and they're not putting huge amounts of work into the place or anything. So, uh, you know, the issue has been with this place, you know, we can't fix it up and use the water system here because it's town water, which is fluoridated, and we're not going to use that. And so, um, it's just been kind of, okay, we'll have this place temporarily, save up our money, get something different uh, for the ministry and also as maybe we could even live there at the other place. So that's where we're at. That's the whole thing. Um, I'm very thankful that we didn't have a bigger problem. Went down to the to the uh, fuse panel thing or whatever else, shut the fuse off to the, or the circuit off to the outlet that burned. So hopefully we won't have a problem with that. But it's just scary to think about all of our books, all of our Bibles, all of our computers, cameras, everything. It's stored here, and I just am hoping that we don't have a fire or something like that. That would be tragic. So, 
what I need from you, my viewers, is just please pray about this whole thing and say, Lord, please open up a place for, for the Denlingers to be able to buy that they could move the ministry to. Um, you know, again, it's been an effici efficiency issue because, um, you know, this place here, we, like I said, we don't have running water and there's always issues with this thing. I mean, even, even the steps down here, <laughs> you can see the steps are all rotted and falling apart. Issues there, issues with all this other stuff. You know, there's a reason it was $30,000. So, but uh, if you could please pray and just say, Lord, show them what to do. Um, about this open up a place in the area or north of here or something that would be better for us or another state or wherever i don't again we're not sure what we're doing yet we're not moving down south so don't suggest it <laughs> we like the north but uh but please do pray for us on this issue it's a real scary thing to go through this morning um so but now i'll be working in the kitchen i guess at the place here for a while so should be interesting, but uh, thank you very much for your prayers.